All right, hey guys, I just wanted to make a quick video uh, showing how I got Android 5 on my Galaxy Note 2, and it's a good, stable build. I use it as my uh, as my personal phone. Uh, I really like it. It's worked really well for me so far. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and boot up into the settings here. It's going a little slow because I'm uh, using the screen capture. Um, but the first thing I did... Uh, is I flashed the Cyanogen Mod 12, the uh, Tolt build, as you see right here in the build number. Um, I haven't really used any of the nightly updates, but it is possible. You can see right here, I got Android 5.0.2. Build date was April 19th. Uh, so far, it's been working good. Uh, this is the SGH i317. It's the AT&T model. Uh, and and quite honestly, this, this build has worked perfectly. I've got it on the T-Mobile network. I unlocked it for that. You can see it's running LTE. That's not been an issue. It didn't get rid of any of my IMI, IMEI or anything like that. I did use the TWRP app uh, to load the build. And, of course, I had to use the G-Apps zip file as well whenever I did that. Uh, once I got it on here, I installed Super User to get root access. I didn't know at the time, but it is actually possible to get root access through the developer options. If you don't know how to do that, you go into About Phone and you click on your build number seven times. I've already done it, so I don't need to. But once you've done that, you can pull up developer options. And actually right here, it gives you root access. So I didn't know that beforehand. But... Gave it root access because I wanted to see what I could do as far as making it better. Because when I initially installed it, there were still some crashes happening. Uh, if I tried to do too many things at once, it would freeze up the whole system uh, and it would have to reboot. Uh, so once I rooted it, what I was able to do is I installed this app called Root Booster. And it has basic and extreme modes as you see here and here. Uh, the basic modes will do the trick, but the extreme modes, honestly, are 10 times better. You do have to pay, I think it's something like $1.19 maybe. Um, let me see here, $1.30. I haven't done the, the speed one. I've done the stability, which is the main one that helped it to turn into a, a stable, solid build. And I also did the battery one because it, it just kind of helped out. And I have noticed actually a battery difference as well. My, my battery lasted me all day yesterday with constant use. So it's really good. Uh, it'll really turn this thing into a, one hell uh, of a great operating system for your phone. Everything works. I've been going through and installing all kinds of different apps. The one thing I have noticed, and you'll notice these two apps up here... Uh, is my sound isn't quite as loud. That's about the only thing I noticed. My sound really isn't too loud anymore, whereas I used to have the in-call volume boost. I no longer have that. Um, so that's something I'm trying to figure out. I might put in a suggestion to the developer to see if maybe he can do something to fix that. But other than that, and it's... Don't get me wrong, it's still completely usable. Other than that, this is the best build so far that I've been able to find... I tried uh, the Resurrection Remix before this one. They didn't have the capability to use mobile data. As you see up here, I do have LTE. Uh, they weren't able to do that, but this one is. Uh, I use the Google Now launcher, but either way, it's going to be pretty much the same thing. It's really, like I said before, it's really a great operating system if you want to get Android 5 on your Galaxy Note 2. Hey, uh, if you have any questions about it, you can go ahead and ask me on here. Uh, if I don't have the answers, I might just direct you to the developer, but I'll see what I can do to help you out. Uh, so there you have it. Android 5 on the Galaxy Note 2 SGH i317.